Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody wanted a shaft in a ring or a spring that was going around it. So I kind of came up with this. I don't know what they, if that's what they want. But we're going to take a two-point line and holding down the control button so it's perpendicular. Now we're going to use the roughing tool, which is underneath the shape tool flyout. This is the size of your rougher, the two inch. Uh, three is the number of spikes and three is what it's going to put inside there. And you can change your angle to anything you want. I picked 22 and a half and I'm just going to get on the line and I'm just going to click it one time and look at that. Made a pretty good deal. Now we can take and make that line thicker. We'll make it 0.1. But now we need to smooth out the edges to make it look like a, so I'm going to use a smoothing tool, put the smoothing tool on a boy. 0.7 and round off these corners mainly probably more so the inside than the outside but whoever's if you're if he's going to use this uh, way to make the spring then he can kind of pick you know how far he takes the the spring itself now we need to take this go to object and convert the outline to an object and what that did that gave us our visible nodes and I can now get the shape tool and I can delete these two nodes. I can take this node and this node and convert them to a line. We can always get the smoothing tool back and round off that corner to make it look like the end of a spring. I'm just kind of imagining, but get the shape tool back and delete these nodes, hit delete, Take, it doesn't matter if you take two or three nodes and make them to a line because it gives you, what it does, it closes those nodes off. Now get the smoothing tool again and round this off. Pretty cool. Now you can either take a line or a rectangle. We're just going to take a rectangle and make our shaft. We are going to take this and we're going to left click, right click in black. We're going to put our shaft into the spring. Now with your smart fill tool, and whenever you're doing the smart fill tool, make sure you don't have an outline picked because that can actually hurt you in the long run. So we're gonna grab that little part of the blue. So it's a, so the spring is in front here. We want it in the back there. So I'm just gonna fill in all the smart fill tool part every other one to make it look like, and we're going to put that in the front. Now we can take a different color on the Smart Fill tool, and we're gonna fill in the other parts. I got a little leak there for some reason. We can fix that, I think. That needs to be blue right here. For some reason, that's leaking. Um, let me try this. Let me try filling in with red first. Yep, there we go. Now we can either move that. You know what? Whenever you have a leak like that and you've got it fixed, if you will nudge that part out of the way, and then when you fill this in with red, in case this is going to leak with blue, let's get a blue and see if it doesn't leak. It might not because we have the red fill now. Yep, see it's leaked. So to avoid that problem, we can just move this straight back with the nudge. Now I need to fill this in with red, I guess, and delete that to finish our shaft. It'd be really probably really better to use a, a, a black shaft, but I'm just doing that. Then select it all and right click no outline. That looks like the spring is going around that shaft. And of course you'd maybe want to make your shaft thicker or make your spring more narrow uh, we can't really do it now because the fact that we're uh, basically we're using a smart fill. But that to me looks like a shaft with a spring on it. And you could make it as long as you want it. You know, if you, you know, we just did three spikes, you know, you could do, you could hit it twice. So the roughing tool is pretty cool. Um, you can actually even do an ellipse and do a roughing tool on an ellipse. Uh, that's probably too big. Let's make it one inch. And that changes what you can do. I mean, look at that. 
You can do all kinds of things with that. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.